hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to share a recipe that I use to make the best baked beans possible. Some people call these pork and beans, some call them Boston baked beans. Uh, whatever you want to call them, we're going to do some, uh, we're going to need some great northern white beans. <clears throat> there are two different sizes. There's a small and a large. I usually use the small ones. Uh, for I actually did 10 quarts today, but the recipe I'm going to give you is for 4 quarts or 8 pints. Uh, we're going to need at least 2 pounds of the small white navy beans. We're going to start out with 15 ounces of tomato sauce, 1 small tomato paste, 3 cups of water, 2 thirds cup of brown sugar, half a cup of barbecue sauce, tablespoon of prepared mustard, a third cup of molasses, that's optional. Uh, we're going to heat this up to melt the sugar and all and incorporate everything together. So while that's heating, we're going to add one cup of beans per quart jar. If you're doing pints, you'll do half a cup. All that's in the directions below. We've got our sauce heated up. We're going to go ahead and add our mustard get that stirred in. At this point I've already added the brown sugar, the uh, molasses, that's actually my barbecue sauce, it's not ketchup. I make barbecue sauce and use ketchup to make it, it's really easy. Uh, the smoked paprika is important in this recipe. It does give it a, a little bit different flavor. We're going to add salt, pepper, onion, garlic powder, all of it's in the directions in the bottom. Also heating this is going to kind of boost your seasonings and get them started uh, incorporating and getting everything to taste good. By heating all this up it gives you the option to taste it and make sure that it's in the lines of what you like as far as flavor. I used um, frozen onions and bell peppers. You could use season blend and I'm actually going to add a half a cup of this mixture per quart jar and then I actually added a quarter of a cup approximately of celery. For some reason I lost my footage. Uh, got the video but the video won't play for some unknown reason to where I can use it to make the video so we're going to do without you seeing me add celery which is no big deal. But after you get your veggies added you're going to get some water heating on the stove. I used the kettle and started getting it hot. But we got our beans that's all we have in there now and then we're going to add our veggies. Um, your salt is in the tomato sauce mixture so you're not going to add extra salt per jar. If you need more salt when you open the beans you can add it at that time. Uh, you can always add more salt but you can't take it out once you've added it into it. The exact, you know, it's not exact on how much celery, bell pepper, onions you want to add. Go by, you know, what you like. If you like more bell peppers, use more bell peppers. If you don't like celery, leave it out. You know, it's just that easy. Always try to make things according to the way that you like them and how they taste. I'm just sharing how I do them doesn't mean you can't alter the recipe. What we did was we put one cup, or a cup and a half actually, in each quart jar. Then I took my kettle and filled the jars up to where I left a one inch headspace. Make sure you clean and wipe the rims of the jars. You're going to place your lids on. Like I said, we left a one inch headspace. I'm using Tatler lids today, so I'm also using a jar wrench. So I make sure that I've got the right amount of pressure on the jar where it can still vent the steam out, but yet still be tight enough so the jar will seal properly. I like using the jar wrench. I even use it on when I'm using metal lids. It just takes all the guesswork out of it. And I'm a big guy. I'm 6'5", 
250. You know, sometimes you don't know your strength when you're tightening down on jar lids. If you tighten them down too tight, they won't vent properly. And if you don't tighten them tight enough, then they won't seal properly. A lot of times we we blame the lids and the, you know, the rings on the reason jars don't seal, but it's actually because we probably didn't tighten them tight enough or tighten them too much. But this jar wrench takes all the guesswork out of it. We're going to pressure them 90 minutes, 10 pounds, even pints, I pressure 90 minutes. If you don't pressure them that long, the beans don't look done to me. Uh, hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's all in the comments below with directions on how to do it. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer all comments. If you haven't joined our channel, do so by clicking on the subscribe button and click the little notifications bell so you get a notification of when we put out a new video. Have a great week. This is the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.